What is going on guys? Welcome back to your 30th tutorial. And like I said before, arrays are indeed objects. And since they are objects, and that we know objects have properties and methods, does this mean arrays have properties and methods? Well, yes it does. So let me give you an example of both. Uh, the first thing we need to do is obviously create an array. So let's go ahead and create an array called dudes. And we'll just set this equal to new array and we'll make this the easy way and we'll just go ahead and put like Bucky um, Dan for Dan Henderson and Randy for Randy Couture if you know who those people are then let me know thumbs up so we go ahead and we made an array so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the properties there are several built-in properties but probably the most common property that you're going to use when working with the array is the length now the length property is just a number telling you how many items are in your array so document write of course put the name of your array which is dudes and in order to access the property just like anything else when working with objects use the dot separator and the name of the property which is length now if you want to take a look at all the properties then there's probably a website you can go to but like I said the length one is it's basically the only one I ever use when programming and it's the one that you're going to use most commonly so you see right here it says three because I have Bucky Dan and Randy there are three elements that's all it does so we know that array has properties such as length but what exactly are the methods associated with this object I mean how many different things can we do to an array well in order to use some of the methods you typically need another array and that is because a lot of the methods deal with either combining the arrays or adding one array to another one or sorting through an array so let's go ahead and create another array right now so we can go ahead and take a look at an example so we already have a array called dudes let's go ahead and make another array called chicks and set equal to new easy caps lock new array and set this equal to three girl names um lisa um aaron and also hannah so now we have two arrays dude and chicks so the first method I want to show you, it's probably the easiest method to understand, is called the concat, and I think this is short for concatenate, and pretty much does this. It takes two arrays and adds them together, and it creates an entirely new array. So let's go ahead and create a new array called people, and we're going to set this equal to, it's pretty much going to combine this array with this array. But you're saying, alright, how do I know what order it combines them in and how the elements are listed well it's gonna take one array and stick it on the end of another array so what array do you want to be at the beginning so I want dudes to be at the beginning and in order to use this method again use the dot separator which is concat and as your parameter you list what array do you want to stick on the end of this and I want chicks to be on the end of this so what this is gonna do is it's gonna take the dudes array and stick chicks on the end of it so now we have a new array called people with six different elements in it Bucky, Dan, Randy, Lisa, Aaron, Hannah that's our brand new array stored in people so we already created that so let's just go ahead and print out something on the screen like document dot write and let's just go ahead and write the last element of people and that would be the fifth because remember this is index 0, 1, 2 three four five so this should if I'm correct print out Hannah and check it out it did just like that so now you're saying alright I get the idea of concat but what if I wanted this array first and this one second well all you'd have to do is take that chicks and add dude to the end of it or dudes excuse me and now Randy would be the last element so let's go ahead and refresh and check it out Randy so that's an example of one method that we can use when we take a look at arrays so now I just wanted to stress in this tutorial that arrays are indeed objects and every objects or excuse me every object has properties such as the length and it also has methods that you can use and we took a look at one method which is concat and all concat does is it takes two arrays sticks them together 
and puts it into a brand new array. So pretty cool, huh? So that is what I want to talk to you guys about in this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'm going to be talking more about some other array methods, and they're going to be a lot more useful. And trust me, there's a lot to learn when it comes to array methods, so you definitely don't want to miss out on it. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.